Hi everybody, I'm Mike, this is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews, and today we're going to test some shotgun slug penetration. Stick around, maybe we'll learn something together. So I have several different brands of shotgun slugs, and I'm going to test how far they'll penetrate gallon jugs of water. I have 10 of them lined up on a board down there, over two sawhorses. I'm going to shoot them with different types of shotgun slugs. We're going to start with some Remington Premier Copper Solids, move on to the Winchester XP3s, then Winchester Deer Season, Browning BXS, and then American Whitetail. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. First up is Remington Premier Copper Solids. Let's see what that looks like. It penetrated three of the jugs because we have seven left. Stopped on the fourth. I don't know if you can really make that out. Stopped right there on the fourth, dented it a little bit. <laughs> it was laying right there on the uh, on the board. So that's the slug that we repair we recovered from the Remington Premier Copper Solid. Uh, full expansion, full weight retention, uh, penetrated three of those jugs. Now we're going to go ahead and try Winchester XP3s. Let's see what that did. There it is, caught in the backside of that jug. Well, which one is it? That's one, two, three, untouched, jug seven. So it penetrated seven jugs and got stopped in the plastic of the seven. So the Winchester XP3 has some good penetration. Next up is Winchester Deer Season. Now these are rifled slugs, but the box says it's okay for a fully rifled barrel, which is what I'm using on this Mossberg 500. Let's see how this one performs. Man, that, the, that round has a lot of energy transfer. I hope I caught the slug. Looks like the uh, stabilizer that it has and the uh, projectile separated, but uh, and that projectile is awful mangled. Holy cow. Oops. Jeez. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left on there, so it looks like it only penetrated three. So here's what I recovered from the jug. This is the stabilizer that's on the rear of it which fits, as you can see, there's the impression of it, fits 
the the lead on top of the stabilizer and then this piece was around it like this and it just it, uh, broke apart after it entered the water after it expanded so that would be kind of I think this right here is what it would look like and it just broke apart if you enjoy content like this do me a favor hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button and when you do make sure you ring the notification bell so that they let you know whenever I put new content out those two things that like and that subscribe really help YouTube know that this is content worth watching and maybe they might want to suggest it to other people so thanks a lot now let's get on back to the video next up is the Browning BXS So there it is, caught and stopped right there. Awesome. And here's the recovered slug from the Browning BXS. Looks like it had full expansion and complete weight retention. None of the pedals broke off. So that's pretty cool. And last but most certainly not least, we have Hornady American Whitetail. Let's take a look at this one. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven still left on the uh, board. And it looks like the slug is in number three right there in the bottom so here's the slug from the Hornady American Whitetail as you can see it opened up nicely it uh, you know that's what the diameter was when it started and that's what it was when it ended looks like it might have lost a little bit of the lead core but uh, you know breaking off in there but it's kind of to be expected I think that did pretty good with uh, the penetration it had plus the expansion so, was that a scientific test? Hell no. Is it totally and utterly worthless? Probably. But it was a hell of a lot of fun to do, and that's a fact. And I think it does give you an indication of the penetration power plus the expansion and weight retention of these different uh, shotgun slugs. I really think that your best bet, if they're accurate in your shotgun, would be one of the two copper slugs, either the uh, Remington Premier Sol Solid Copper or the uh, Browning BXS. Uh, they retained 100% of their weight. They had good penetration. They had great expansion. You know, I think next up would really be the American Whitetail, followed by the Winchester XP3. That one, though, if you're looking for penetration uh, in your shotgun slug, that's the winner because that one penetrated a lot more than all the others. I don't think you're going to go wrong with any of these really as long as you can just pick the one that's the most accurate in your gun. So I'm Mike, this is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews, and that was my look at shotgun slug penetration testing. If you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Every little bit helps me bring content like this to you. And as always, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together.